In 10 years time, could we be saying that Phil Foden's the best player that's ever played for City? <laughs> Hey guys and welcome to City Extra's post-match thoughts. Um, we're coming back. How do you even describe that? 4-0, should have been 5, should have been 6, should have been 7. Could it even been 10? Sky Sports saying it should have been 10. Um, That's insane against Liverpool as well. The yeah. champions. We've actually shown the champions up. Absolute frauds, mate. Mm. We've shown them in it. We've shown them that we're still in this. Like, not in a title race as such, but I mean, like, we're still next season. Like, be ready for We're this. We're going to be there. We're not that far behind. Like, maybe some people, maybe some City fans have been panicking. I could, I have been panicking a little bit, thinking, oh, are we that far behind? No, we're not that far behind, guys. A couple of signings, and we're going to be right back there next year. Um, loads of places that we could start, but I want to start on my man Phil Foden. Yes, uh, Phil Foden smashed it today. An influential performance from him. He, he's just insane. We said at the birth of the game that that was his best game. And yep. we also said in our pre-matches that Phil Foden needs to be tested. We need to see him in these big games. And today came yep. the big game against Liverpool and he smashed it. Loads of quality players on the pitch, yet he rose above all of them. He was so sick and he was yep. my man of the match. Absolutely. He's, we've seen him play for years, right? In the first team in the academy, everyone knows he's got quality. But what we needed to see for a long time is him play, playing in big, big games. And tonight was a big game. All right, okay, there was nothing really on the game, but you're playing against the Premier League champions. Liverpool came here and they wanted to win. They definitely yeah, wanted to definitely. win. And he was one of the best players on the pitch. Look around who he was on, who he was playing football with. You got Kevin De Bruyne, you got Salah, you got Mane, you got Sterling. And people were saying he got man of the match. Now, obviously, it's very difficult to pick man of the match today, but he was up there. He was up there. It's a credit into itself that he was up there. Obviously, I think the official man of the match award was it to KDB. Yeah. So the official man of the match award was it to KB, KDB. In our live stream, so many people were voting for Foden to be him. Mm. And obviously, like I said, it's very, very difficult in these kind of games to pick yeah. who is their best. You know what I mean? If you're a 10, who is the better 10? You know what I mean? The two 10s, who's the better 10? Yeah. But for me, Phil Foden was that better 10. He, he, he just, he was something else today. He was, like, he was throughout unreal. the live stream, I was going mad about him. He was insane. Yeah, he was mad. And you know what as well, guys? Next year, we're going to be all right. David Silva's leaving at the end of the season. Unless he signs some mad contract that, you know, it's, no, 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 no rumours. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I've been worried for quite a while. I'm thinking, is Phil Foden going to be up to the plate next year? I've been watching him the last couple of weeks and his development over the years at City. I'm 100% I'm confident that next year Phil Foden can step into the boots. And you, you never know. In 10 years' time, could we be saying that Phil Foden's the best player that's ever played for City? Who knows, guys? Definitely, that is insane. Definitely potential. Um, let's move on quickly to another player who had a mint game today. And it's uh, Raheem Sterling. Yeah, Raheem Sterling today, again, another 10. Um, tens across the board. Uh, he smashed it. He, he smashed it again. And this is his best performance against Liverpool. Mm. Like, hands down. Like, he played well in the Community Shield, but this is his best performance against Liverpool. He's actually scored against him in the Premier League for the first time. Mm. It's insane. It's This is the Raheem that, like, we weren't seeing pre-COVID. Post-COVID, we've been saying that Raheem's got something different about him now. He has yeah, like some yeah. extra to his game. I and agree. today he had Gomez on strings. Oh yeah. He ruined him. He ruined yeah, him. Yeah, he actually did. He, hands down, he got Gomez subbed off because yeah. they couldn't do anything against him. You know what was mad? The only defender that can come out of that game for Liverpool with a little bit of pride is Van Dijk because Robertson got absolutely smoked. Yeah. Gomez got smoked and Alexander Arnold got absolutely smoked. Like one of the defenders, and it's the it's the most expensive defender in the world. Um, you know, didn't really make anything any bad mistakes. We, our players today absolutely roasted him. You'll see in the stat bar below that stat city. Um, that was his first goal against Liverpool in the Premier League in nine appearances, guys. So he has struggled against Liverpool, but today different beast, different class. You wouldn't know, would you? You wouldn't know that this guy struggles against Liverpool. It's insane. No. He, he's he smashed it and he's starting again like to raise his level even more his game is getting further mm. maybe that's as he's getting older he's maturing and get, becoming a better footballer but since since football has been back Raheem Sterling has been mint he's had really good games like, I'm not just talking about Liverpool I'm talking about all the games before he's, he's been really good and hopefully can carry on this form into the Champions League because that's going to be important for us absolutely absolutely spot on um, 
Right guys, next up, if you didn't see our video on Kulabaya that we released a couple of days ago, we'll link it at the end uh, of the video on the card. Um, we was asking, should we sign Kulabaya? Do we have to with Garcia? He's, um, what a performance tonight. He, he was class against Arsenal. Obviously got the injury, which is really unfortunate. But tonight, playing against three of the world's best attacking players, he didn't, he didn't put a foot wrong. It was you wouldn't you wouldn't think he was playing against three of the world's uh, best attacking players. He mm. had them in his pocket. He yeah. absolutely smashed it. Uh, like I say, he didn't put a foot wrong all game. Uh, he, he he just oozes this quality that makes me confident. Mm. Like when I see him in the starting lineup, I'm not worried. You know what I mean? The guy's only 18. Yeah. Is he 18? Yeah, 18, 17. He's, he's young. He's yeah, young. the guy's young, and I'm more confident with him in the team. I've said this before, I'm more confident with him in the team than I am Otamendi or Stones. Garcia lined up with Laporte is just, I have this assurance about them. They just, both of them are very solid together and work really well. And yeah. they play good pep football. What I need to ask, right, guys, is when we played Arsenal and we had Laporte and Garcia at the back, did you have any, at any point during that game, were you really concerned for our defence? And I asked that same question today. How many chances did Liverpool create today? And how many times were you sat there going, oh no, they're attacking us, oh no. There wasn't that many times because he just brings a calmness. There's no rash tackles like Otamendi, yeah? There's, his his decision-making about playing the ball out from the back is clever. That's probably where John Stones sometimes get caught out. I just think, honestly, this guy, I think he's different class, guys. We've got to get him signed up to a huge contract and... You know, like Foden, we've got to be blooding this kid in because, yes, all right, he's only 19 or whatever, but if he's, he's he's handling three of the best attacking players in the world and he's not put a foot wrong. So, I don't know. I think it puts us in a tricky situation now with regards to like someone like Akula Baye. Are you going to go out now? Are you going to sign... Are you going to sign like someone to come in and, and take that first centre-back uh, centre spot with Laporte? Or are you looking at Garcia and going... Guys, Garcia, I know he's only 19, but he could be our number one centre-back pairing with Laporte. Maybe we need to go out and buy a better version of Stones for a third choice or a fourth choice. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, do you think that we still need to go out and sign a centre-back? Also, Madrid, we asked this in the chat, didn't we, Madrid? Yeah, yeah. Real Madrid, Champions League, who is your centre-back pairing? Obviously, Laporte is in there. Are you playing Garcia because he looks cool? Are you playing Otamendi or Stones? Or maybe you're going for Fernandinho? Let us know in the comment section below. There was a bit of a split, wasn't there, in the live yeah, stream. Yeah. Some people were saying Fernandinho um, and some people were saying Garcia. Not that many shouts for Otamendi or Stones, it has to be said. It is a credit in itself that a lot of people are calling for Garcia to play those big games. Mm. I, I think he should play the rest of the Premier League games. If he's fit, he's on the, he's on the team. Yeah, yeah. No, I'd go with that. Um, all right, let's move on to the next part and this is just sort of we've mentioned three players but we just think we, we could have mentioned every single player on the pitch tonight really so we sort of just wanted to pick up on a few extras didn't we so yeah i want to mention kevin de bruyne um, um this guy's different gravy yeah unreal and it's it's really nice to see him wearing the armband as well mm. which is a, a mad and i think we'll see more of that next season because i think he'll be our captain um today again he's just different class he's just at it's, it's crazy and it's crazy. All these players who are so sick, mm. all coming together in one game and all playing at the at the best. Mm. Um, and KDB at it again. He's a, I mean, he, he's not shy to be pulling out these performances. And today was just another one. He, he's now a dead set penalty taker. You know what I mean? He's cool, calm with it. Mm. Uh, I the have, good penalties as well. Like yeah, some yeah. people just take penalties and just get lucky. Like these penalty, that penalty today was in the corner with pace. It was Calculated, good. isn't it? And what I think about Kevin, right? What's his weakness? He's got great passing ability. He's strong. He's got. He can shoot. He can score goals. He likes a tackle. Um, he can drop into sort of like a deeper position and play like a bit of more of a playmaker, like a deep deep line playmaker. He's got a bit of pace about him as well. Yeah, he's, he's not slow. I struggle to find any real weaknesses with this guy. Like, how would you even value him? I mean, God forbid he ever said he wanted to leave. But you know, how how on earth would you value this guy? He's absolutely insane. Another brilliant performance. He should get a player of the season. He won't because someone from Liverpool will probably get it disgracefully. It's probably going to be Jordan Henderson. Um, but it should be Kevin De Bruyne. Um, just just a brilliant, a brilliant performance. Another player. Sorry, I wanted to mention before we before we go on to the player ratings. Um, who deserves some love is uh, Mendy. 
Yeah, absolutely. Bedroom in today and the last game is, is, is starting to show the reasons why he's in this team. Mm. And again, today, whipping in the balls. Um, although, didn't get an assist today. Probably should have. Um, he's absolutely smashed it. Yeah. He smashed it. He, he's, he's providing really good attacking quality down that left-hand side. Yeah. And his link-up play is getting really good with the players as well. So it's really nice to see Mendy in the team. Yeah, he was really good defensively again. I don't remember really any mistakes that he made defensively. Kept Salah quiet. Was good going forward. Didn't really lose though. I can't remember any times really that he lost the ball. He pressed him in like a sort of bad place. Um, his main thing now is consistency. It's yeah. playing 90 minutes, 90 minutes, 90 minutes. Staying fit and just trying to sort of cut out all the, all the sort of defensive errors that he can make. So if he can do that... That'll help us in the transfer window because we might not have to go out and sign a left back. Um, what do you guys think on that? You know, he's looking better. Are you convinced by him? Or do we need to go out in the transfer market and, and sign someone else? Just a quick one, sorry, on Cal Walker. Underloved, underrated, brilliant yeah. performance. I think this is his best season in a City shirt, personally. I um, and I just wanted to shout it out there because he's been solid again. Um, playing against Mane, who I actually think is their best player in that team. I think yeah, he's better than Salah. Um and where was Mane today? Mane was just nowhere to be seen. Um, and I just think that's partly down just to Kyle Walker's brilliant performance. Um, look, guys, there's loads of players we could have mentioned today. Um, but there's sort of a few that we wanted to mention. Let's go into the player ratings. Uh, you'd not be surprised to see that they're all pretty much... Um, Very high. High scores. <laughs> high ratings today. Um, Do you want me to run for the first team? You run for the subs? Yeah, yeah let's go for it. Uh, so we'll give Edison an 8.5. Had this a game, a couple of saves. Um, obviously kept a clean sheet. Uh only reason he got an 8.5, not higher up like the rest of them, is he did give the ball away a few times. Um, Walker, 9, solid performance from him. At, smashed it down that right-hand side, kept Mane quiet, like you said. Uh, Garcia, a 10, he smashed it. He bring the, the solidity within the team with the, the Porte, who also got a 10. Both of them smashing it together. Mendy, another 10, three 10s in a row. Um, he had a really good game, provided a lot of attacking quality going forward and kept his defensive game yeah. on people point. might be like why are you giving Mendy a 10 you got what what did he do wrong he did nothing wrong that I can I can remember and going forward he put a couple of good balls in the box that maybe sh someone should have got on the end of basically what could what more could you ask from Mendy today I don't think you could have asked anything and that's why he's got the 10 yeah I agree uh, Rodri give Rodri a 9 more like a silent assassin today uh, moving about the pitch pretty unnoticed kind of thing but uh, he had a solid game keeping that midfield tight uh, Gundogan as well this is the first time that I'll, I'll probably admit to liking the Rodri Gundogan situation because it, it's actually worked and we touched on this on the live stream that maybe that kind of situation works against the better teams uh, and I think we'll see more of it in the Champions League uh, De Bruyne another 10 uh, obviously, we spoke about Ford, De Bruyne smashed it. Uh, Foden, 10. Again, spoke about Ford before. He had a really good game. Sterling, 10. Again, another good game. Jesus gave him a 7. He mm. had a few chances. Probably should have scored. Uh, he didn't have the best of his games. No, he didn't really. And he had one big chance and he just after the second half. And he, he just he fluffed it. He just passed it straight down the, the middle of the net. And it was uh, no power. But, you know, still worked hard. Still fought the cause. Um, so, yeah. Keep your head up, son. Um, <laughs> subs, Cancelo, Otamendi, Bernardo didn't really do much, um, but didn't do anything wrong, so they all got sevens. Mares, come on, had a couple of chances, uh, scored, which was really harshly disallowed due to the um, the handball from, from Phil Foden and due to that stupid, stupid rule. No one likes that rule. It's ridiculous. Get rid of it. Scrap it. But he gets an eight just because he was a bit more involved than the other three subs. Yeah. <sighs> okay. That is um, a <laughs> mad night. It's a crazy night. Um, it's, it's crazy my voice is literally almost gone from, from screaming and yeah, shouting the live stream was, was crazy tonight uh, let us know what you think in the comments innit? let us know what, you, what your scores I reckon we've got something wrong there maybe should Edison have got higher should have we, have we rated someone too high maybe we, have we gone trigger happy with the 10s dishing out 10s everywhere yeah, we, we, we're very happy um, <laughs> but yeah um, let us know what you guys think in the comment section below like I say if you've not already subscribed to the channel hit the subscribe button with the notification bell turned on and if you've enjoyed the video uh, hit the like button so other City fans can see the video as well um, I think that's all from us isn't it yeah that's it from us yeah thanks for watching guys see take care bye bye, bye, -bye.